Ridley, darling Tim Butler, I have come back to tell you, I have come back to tell you in 2015 something which you have known all along. War, not so much a business. War is a racket. A racket is best described as something in which a few people profit and the many, like you, suffer. The many, like you, that pay for generations in the care of veterans, for taxation, the cost of war. America is losing its democracy. My question is this, what is the greatest danger? The illusion of democracy or the lack of a democracy? Our government now, as you know, is a kleptocracy. A government for the rich, by the rich. These terrorists pay congressmen to do their bidding, who wrap themselves in American flags that call for war bleeds our young. There is little money for schools, in education, and the poor go to war. The price for war these days as you see, is places like Ferguson, Missouri, Baltimore, Camden, the inner cities of America that are third world countries. None of those who looted tens, hundreds of billions of dollars from your country, from my country, were ever brought to justice. Suddenly you hear these stories of a billion dollars in cash disappearing. Where did that money go? You suddenly hear yesterday in the news $420 million for a gas station in the middle of Afghanistan. This is the news. <coughs> Flip $67 billion. All this waste. The cost of one modern heavy bomber is this. A modern brick school in more than 30 cities. It is two electric power plants serving a town of 60,000. It is two fine, fully equipped hospitals. It is 50 miles of concrete highways. We pay for a single fighter plane with a half a million bushels of wheat. We pay for a single destroyer with new homes that could house more than 8,000 people. This, I repeat, is the best way of life to be found on the road the world has been taking. This is not a way of life at all, in any true sense. Under the cloud of threatening <coughs> war, it is humanity hanging from a cross of iron. Uh, but I, I really think it is, um, is a responsibility each one of us, as Americans and people who live here in the United States, really have to bear. It's a responsibility of democracy in any country, is how do we spe speak out for the values we, we believe in. It's, it's amazing, nobody, uh, very few people will talk about the military during um, uh, the time of so many wars in the United States, Vietnam, etc. It ended not because Henry Kissinger and uh, Nixon went to Paris, it's because of the hundreds of thousands of people who realized the insanity and getting out in the street and we are at war. If we're spending over a train to a train and a half hours, we're a nation at war. And right now we're at war against our youth. We're against we're at a war against our minority, our people of color within this country. <coughs> and the way to do that, to fight that, is by educating.